Welcome aboard the 2025 Axopar 29 CCX. This is Axopar's entry into the center console market. What a phenomenal, innovative product from Axopar. I'm Andrew Porter from East Coast Yacht Sales. Let's go for a look through. Here is an initial look at the 29 CCX. A lot of familiar Axopar features and looks about the boat, but the center console is a real innovation for Axopar. The other thing you'll notice, above the black rub rail is about five or six inches of additional deck. So this is a new deck mold for the 29 and it gives a little more freeboard, adding a little bit of weight and a little more punch if you're out in a little bit of nastier weather. There's the aggressive profile, really neat looking console and windshield and hard top. This boat's set up with the twin 200s, the Merc V6s, really nice power package. This boat has the ski tow bar. A lot of fishermen are not gonna want this, but this particular boat really emphasizes Axopar's ability to uh, meet a lot of different needs. So, really innovative new bench back aft. This bench seat is obviously for hanging out, socializing, but really easily this bench becomes a fishing leaning post. So all of a sudden, uh, you can be fishing aft and have a really nice setup. We've got a live well over to port. That is an option. We can also do a wet bar back here uh, with an additional fridge and sink. And then on the forward wet bar area, we do have another even larger live well and a sink. Uh, this could become a bait station, tackle station, storage. I think that's for fishermen, I guess, but for entertaining as well. That's going to be a really important part of the boat. Other choices for the aft deck include a second row of seating here, which would just give an open deck behind it. You could do the second row of seating with an aft facing bench, which still leaves you quite a bit of real estate back aft, but gives you way more seats and more social options. You can do an aft cabin, which would be a large um, sun pad area here with entry into a double bunk. So a lot of choices, a lot of different ways to use the boat and it would also take up the space very differently on this aft deck. Taking a look at the hard top, this is not your traditional center console. There's a lot of Axopar innovation here with a real windshield. So unlike center consoles uh, out in the marketplace where maybe one person is warm and dry, you are gonna be in pretty good nick in here. You know, you are fully surrounded by this three-sided windshield. The hard top extends well past the two helm seats. And of course you can add uh, soft enclosures along the sides if you really wanna stay inside. Really important feature here is forward on the hardtop is an opening hatch. That is forward, so that air is gonna come right down, right back through, and um, provide a lot of cooling and air circulation. The console and helm is very familiar. It looks a lot like Axopar standards, and uh, they've stuck with a working, working idea there. You can see the slightly higher gunnels here. We've got the fishing bolsters, and that is well above my knee. That is halfway up my leg, up my thigh. So I'm very secure here. I could be fishing outboard and um, have plenty of purchase leaning against that bolster. All the way forward, Axopar does offer the U-shaped symmetrical settee forward. Um, that can be a really nice casting platform if you're really out there doing some fishing, maybe inshore fishing. It still acts as a lounge and uh, a sunbed. Now the center sun portion of that is removable, so you could just get the U-shaped seating. If you do get the U-shaped seating, nice innovation from Axopar in this model is there is what's called the kill box up forward. So a large box with a hinged top which allows storage of fish up forward. Um, you could do this in an asymmetrical, just the L, with that open if you wanted more fishing space, but a nice feature there. Multi-cabin and head compartment is under the forward portion of the console, very similar to uh, the 29 that we've become familiar with. Um, 
lots of storage. The toilet is down there on center line with a sink aft on center line and just huge amounts of storage for rods, tackle, and all the gear that you bring onto a boat. Here's a look at the hard top, solar panel, searchlight, radar. Do have an option to put outriggers up there. So there's some really nice combinations of fishing, comfort, cruising, socializing. This boat can do a lot of things really well. Aft in the cockpit is a very large storage area. There's the sea chest for the two bait wells. Uh, it's all being managed through one sea cock, one sea chest, and then pumps are enclosed in that box with valves to select what you need. That is the Axopar 29 CCX. Thanks for joining me at the North American premiere in Fort Lauderdale. I'm Andrew Porter from East Coast Yacht Sales. Please reach out by email or phone if you have any questions. I look forward to connecting with you.